Hey guys. Yeah, I'm just trying to hook up the alternator charger to the EcoFlow Delta Pro 2 3. Before we uh, do any work, so here as you can see, I removed the panel from here, uh, from the right side of the accelerator pedal. And then there is a, uh, let me, so this is the battery disconnect. So we just have to press on this right tab down and then just pull it away, away from this terminal. Uh, and then it gets disconnected. So as you can see here, right? Just press down on the right and then just pull it, pull this away. So this is the negative uh, disconnect from the battery. Yeah, so the way I have it wired is, so I just pulled the cable through this gap I, I was planning to wire it inside only i don't want to take it outside and then get it inside because i don't think we have sufficient cable length for that yeah so what i had to do is i had to loosen this this nut on the terminal and then pull this whole thing off uh, and uh, remove this box which gives you access to the uh, terminals so i just connected uh, to this one and then I routed, there is a, a slot in there for the wire. So I'm routing it through that. And for the negative side, I, I pulled everything out and uh, there's a screw that comes out here. So I just plan to uh, hook up the negative cable to that. So let me uh, finish this and then I'll uh, show you. I got the wiring done. Uh, so here's the fuse panel that came with the EcoFlow. And then the negative terminal is hooked up to here. The positive goes inside this box. Uh, so let me just put this back together and we'll see how it goes. Once we have it hooked up to the battery terminal, I just got the wiring in the back and then connected to the um, alternator charger. I think I'll, I'll mount this somewhere. But the main thing is for you to connect from alternator charger to the Eco uh, Flow Delta Pro 3, you need to have this Delta Pro 3 to smart generator adapter. Uh, yeah, the reason being, I think this one, uh, the one that comes out of uh, the alternator charger is a two-prong one. But then for the extra battery um, on the Delta Pro is a four-prong. So you have to get this adapter. Um, I think it's probably 60 bucks or something. Once you get that, I think you can just uh, hook it up. Yeah, so that's how it goes. Yeah, it's pretty simple, uh, nothing complicated. So let me turn it on and uh, we'll see how it charges. Turn it on, there's a button in the back. Yeah, as you can see, that's the button. Just have to press that. Yep, and then this turns on. And then you have to turn on the Delta Pro manually. Yeah, I didn't see an option where you can remotely turn it on. Yeah, as you can see, it's pushing like 800 watts uh, to the Delta Pro. But I, I noticed, like, I mean, it's not always consistently 800 watts, but then I think it depends on the load and uh, I just do, like, the load balancing between the battery versus other uh, accessories versus the uh, Delta Pro. And then uh, uh, let me just switch to... Yeah, so you can do reverse charge, as you can see here, or battery maintenance. Uh, so right now I think the battery voltage shows 13.2 volts and then right now I'm doing bad in the maintenance mode I think it's push it pushes mostly 100 watts uh, back to the battery um, yeah, that's what I noticed and it, it it works fine but the only issues that I would say they are there is um, I don't think the alternator pro can wake up the delta uh, alternator can wake up the delta pro uh, if if it's like completely turned off I haven't noticed that happening even like uh, so you have to turn on both I mean at least the uh, Delta Pro before you start right uh, manually I don't know maybe in future they'll push those updates but as of now I think we have to turn on both of them manually and uh, uh, and then yeah there's no auto mode kind of a thing it's all like as you see right you have to use the toggle button uh, to start working and then I think that's the only way to control this and they need like a, a hotspot, a portable hotspot kind of a thing. So I think that, that aspect of it could be better, but it, it works fine. Uh, as of now, I, I have no complaints. And I had an issue with, uh, I think it, it, said, it said like RJ45 port error. I'll put a screenshot here. Uh, but then even that is resolved, like I reached out to the support and they pushed out a new firmware. Uh, and that took care of it. So as you can see here, right, I'm just reverse charging the battery. Uh, yeah. yeah, all of that works fine. Um, and I think, uh, yeah, 
Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't have any complaints as of now. Uh, we will see like how far, how well this will work. I haven't done any actual road trip uh, once I got the alternator charger. Uh, but once I uh, do that, I will uh, keep you guys posted on the update.